Long before his days as the highly successful head football coach of the men of Troy, Larry Blakeney was learning all the principles of the game from a series of mentors. In Gordo, he quarterbacked for Tommy White, a former Alabama lineman for Paul Bryant. But it was Suge Jordan across the state in Auburn that took notice and offered him a chance to lead the Tigers. By his sophomore year, he was the starting quarterback, and in 1968, he led the Tigers to a spot in the Sun Bowl versus Arizona. Winning 34-10 was a highlight. But after an injury and an arrival of the superstar Pat Sullivan, Larry started thinking about the future, and the future was coaching. After receiving his degree in 1970, he became the head football coach at Southern Academy in Greensboro. After posting a 19-5 record in two years, he took over at Walker High School and then Vestavia Hills. Soon, Auburn would call, asking him to return as an assistant coach. From 1977 to 1990, Larry would be an integral part of the Auburn successful run that included four SEC championships and nine bowl appearances, including three in New Orleans and the Sugar Bowl. In 1991, Troy University came a call in, asking him not only to become its head football coach, but to help transition the Trojans from Division I AA into a 1A program. It was a daunting task, considering Troy would be tackling such traditional powers as Miami, Nebraska, and Florida. While there would be losses along the way, Blakeney's Trojans stunned Mississippi State 21-9 in Starkville in their first year as an official member of 1A in 2001. Before Troy's ascension to the top tier of college football, Larry had guided the Trojans to four Southland Football Conference Championships and was twice the league's coach of the year. The move to the Sun Belt in 2004 was another step forward for the Troy program. And since its entry into the conference, Blakeney squad has won three league titles and appeared in the first three bowl games in school history. In 2006, Troy won its first bowl game ever by defeating Rice 41 to 17 in the New Orleans Bowl. His career record now stands at 144, 72 and one. And that victory total is the third highest in the history of the state of Alabama among Division I-A coaches, ranking only behind fellow Hall of Fame members Paul Bryant and Larry's old coach, Shug Jordan. In 2000, the All-American Football Foundation honored him by winning the Johnny Vaught Lifetime Achievement Award, and his old high school in West Alabama honored him as a Gordo High Hall of Famer in 1996. Larry and his wife Janice have three daughters and three granddaughters. Tonight, they can celebrate this monumental achievement as Larry Blakeney forever becomes a legend in his home state as he is enshrined in the state of Alabama Sports Hall of Fame. <laughs>